Hello fellow gamers, this is your boy Zero Inc. And I'm back with another Kickshot Angle discussion. Now, wasn't I telling the truth? Look at all the videos that have already come out. I told you I was going to start putting out more videos. And the blooper reel is back in full swing. Tsunami's doing his job getting me the videos. This is going to be another discussion video. One of the first of the year 2015. I'm planning on getting my new series, Platinum Grades, done. I got some more reviews for y'all. I'm only going to review games that I get to when I get to them. Thanks for checking me out. For all you people who haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I do a lot of different content. Sometimes it's going to be bloopers. Sometimes it's going to be conversation pieces like a pundit, like a commentator. Other times it's going to be gameplay, reviews. I mean, we've got a lot of stuff coming out. But today's topic, I wanted to talk about Naughty Dog. And I wanted to say thank you, Naughty Dog. Thank you for finally saying what needed to be said. And it's funny because a lot of people are like, oh, they're already damage controlling. It's funny because whenever you want to do best for people, you're damage controlling. Just letting you know. It, it, that's what damage controlling means. Naughty Dog, if you don't know, came out and said, look... We're not going to push it to 1080p, 60fps, if it hinders the player experience. Basically, what they were saying is they did not want to make a linear game. Have any of you guys asked yourselves why games are so linear nowadays? Now, if you look back to the PlayStation days, look at Tekken and then look at Final Fantasy. Tekken was way better graphically than Final Fantasy was. Final Fantasy, however, was much, much bigger, much, much longer, much fuller experience. To make a big, immersive world, at 1080p, 60 frames per second, you need a lot of memory. The more memory graphics take up, the less you can put into the games, the less length you can put into the campaign. A lot of developers are having a big, big problem with this. How many games, besides Alien Isolation and indie games, have you gone over 10 hours worth of gameplay? Realistically, Last of Us was the last one on last gen that went over 10 hours. Older games go over 10 hours. Now we're getting games that aren't even making it to 10 hours. You want to pay 60 bucks? No, wait, never mind. Hold on, wait. You want to pay $80 because of the season? Don't forget the season pass now. Don't forget the DLCs. You want to pay $80 to $100 for a linear story that lasts you six hours? Because that's essentially what you're paying for with a lot of these games because they put so much into the graphics. Now, if they would just downplay the graphics a little bit, they could add more chapters in. The game could last longer. They could make bigger worlds if they just took a little bit away from the graphic fidelity. You know, go 1080p, 30fps. I'd even take 900p, 60fps, or 900p, 30fps if that meant that I was going to get this huge, giant experience that lasted me over 20 hours. If I'm spending 60 bucks, if I'm spending 80 bucks, I want games to last me. They better damn well last me over 20 hours. So what? If it knocks it out of the park with graphics, if the game lasts you six hours, it's not worth it. I don't care how pretty the game looks. This is the biggest problem with next gen. Not only that, I'm sure Naughty Dog is not familiar with the API. For those of you who don't know, PlayStation has created a new custom API for the PS4. It's already on par with DirectX 11 and... DirectX 12, it'll be on par with that too once Sony tweaks it a little bit. They need time to get used to the hardware. For those of you who don't know, PlayStation 4's API can go down to the metal. What does that mean? You can pretty much customize your template if you wanted to, and that always adds something to a game because you can start from complete scratch. Whereas in DirectX 11, you had a program that wouldn't let you get down to the metal. Maybe with DirectX 12, that'll be fixed. I'm hoping that it'll be fixed, especially for Xbox fans, because if you have a program telling you what you can and cannot do, you will always be limited in what you can do. I'm just trying to put this in perspective for you. 
The more they push for 1080p 60fps, the less you're going to have in your games because of the way the hardware is on the PS4, the Wii U, and the Xbox One. They can only push these consoles so far. GTA 5 is the perfect example. It's a beautiful game to be sure. It's a gorgeous game. But if you look at the graphics for Last of Us and you look at the graphics for GTA, there's a big difference, isn't there? Yes. Because you have to take graphics away to give a bigger world, a bigger e experience. You see this in MMOs, you see this in free-to-play games, you see this in a lot of places. They downgrade the graphics so they can give you a bigger experience. They don't downgrade it to the point where it's ugly to look at, but they downgrade it so that they can fit more memory in so that they can give you a longer, more immersive experience. Now I believe this practice is the better practice. So. I just wanted to come out and say that. Thank you, Naughty Dog, for saying it. For saying that you are not going to push it to the point where you fuck up this game. Here, let me give you a little bit of information, guys. The console itself can hit 1080p 60fps. However, that doesn't mean that everybody can hit that. If you don't know, Metro Redux is 1080p locked 60 frames per second on the PlayStation 4. So, it can be done. The creators of Metro showed you you can hit 1080p 60fps if you're willing to put in the effort. However, don't hit it if it means taking away from the gaming experience. I would rather have a 20 to 30 hour game than a 6 hour graphical masterpiece any day of the week. This has been Zero. Keep gaming gamers. And I will see all of you next time.